For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. This verse was written during a time when the land of Israel was divided between two kingdoms, Judah and Israel. It was a time of continuous tension, division, and uncertainty for God's people as they longed for that king who would bring them hope, unity, and peace. But it was at this time that Isaiah chose to prophesy to the people of Israel about a king that was coming and that would do what no other king had ever done. This king would be called the Wonderful Counsel, a Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, titles that had never been given to any earthly king. Under this king, Israel's kingdom would be united, and he would govern his people in righteousness and equity. He is the wisdom in person, and as king of kings, he will be mightier than any other king. His rule would be eternal, and he would bring true and lasting peace. Isaiah speaks about Jesus, the Son of God, whose birth we celebrate on Christmas. The birth of Jesus was the glorious introduction to the kingdom of God on earth. And each Christmas season, God calls us to remember this promise. He wants to manifest his kingdom already today through his people. And we know that one day he will bring his kingdom in his fullness here to earth. And Father, I do ask you that whoever is watching, wherever they are watching this Christmas season, this little program, I ask you that they will experience you as the King of Kings, as the Everlasting Father, the Wonderful Counselor, and the Prince of Peace, that no matter what the situation might be, that you manifest your kingdom among your people. I ask you that this Christmas season will be a blessed Christmas season for everybody around the world. And Father, we also bless for this very city, the city of Jerusalem, that you may bless it even in this holiday season. In the powerful and mighty name of Yeshua, we pray, amen. Now, this holiday season, I hope that you will celebrate with a renewed faith an expectation that God is continually working to establish and manifest His perfect kingdom here on earth. I want to wish you here from Jerusalem a very blessed Christmas season right here from the Holy Land. God bless you.